Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Eugene. I'm CEO and founder of tap to pay a service that activates payments uh, in very uh, new channels, uh, sales channels like social networks, messengers, websites for businesses, and accepted like seamlessly for both sides. Um, the market called like uh, social commerce, and it grows about 35% year over year and gonna reach about 600 uh, billions uh, in, at, in 27. So, um, but for merchant exist some challenges while selling there. It's very long, long checkout process for the buyers, uh, very limited payment methods available in a social media messengers and very hard to manage all of these ch channels. So we offer a uh, social selling platform It could be websites, messengers, social networks like Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and so on. So let's see how it works in demo. Please meet Mia. She would like to buy some present. Uh, she just open a Facebook and uh, try to click on the just a post of top to pay merchant and got immediately invoice in her messenger is uh, uh, full details about the product you can accept she can accept uh, uh, this invoice and make a payment through the previous payment method or other the new one we can accept absolutely any payment method that available in the market uh, it could be cards electronic money crypto everything and in seconds we notify merchant and buyers that payments done successfully or not so it's really quick process uh, top to pay this uh, and merchant can create uh, uh, products uh, track subscriptions everything without even a uh, piece of code he can act activate uh, accepting payments in all of these channels um, we can connect merchant and buyer in the messengers. And this really unique uh, opportunity for uh, online sales market. Merchant can support, provide service, and sell in real time, and decrease cart abandon rate in the end for uh, good buyers. So how it works? Uh, merchant create account at UpToPay. Uh, you can enable payment providers that uh, already use. For example, PayPal uh, or other acquirers, bank acquirers, and uh, put products and offers in all of uh, possible uh, channels to sell uh, service. So, from the buyer's perspective, it's really seamless payment process. We don't ask to install any application, it works on any device. We support buy in one click uh, flow. We connect messengers, uh, buyer message, and, and, and merchant. It's accept, accept any payment methods and it's highly secure with, with PCID certification. So in our six months, uh, we just got 900 merchants. We uh, got European payment institution license. So we can offer our service for full Europe. Um, we have even sold license for the bank. Uh, in our business model, we have three types of um, offers, like it's, uh, freemium, when a merchant pay just a commission fee, depends on the business and location of the business. Uh, banks could buy a license, and we have a premium plan uh, for the more serious uh, businesses. We did just this summer native integration with PayPal, and they cover all um, our depends on this process. We participate in Visa Innovation Program right, right now. Uh, we did a lot of uh, implementation in different countries, and we ready to do this for US market as well. Uh, we have really team with the proven results that this experience uh, in a financial sector. Uh, we got recognition from Visa, even a prize from Everywhere Initiative of Visa. 
and uh, our current round is 1.2 million uh, out of this we secured uh, 280 all of these funds we're gonna spend to process of licensing uh, in US uh, building relationships with the banks and um, as an exit strategy it's gonna be in, uh, acquisition from the global fintech maybe PayPal or other bigger ones uh, that's it thank you everyone watch and uh, stop the pay. Uh, awesome. So if I follow correctly, I'm tapping on the thing and skipping the cart. Is, is that the essence of it? So I don't have to go through add to cart and then you know go back through and sort through. If you're like me, I tap a bunch of things and then you got to kick stuff back out. It's all in your messenger. In your phone or on the social media platform. Yes, yes. So we. Sorry, I, I missed the, the question. Like uh, the question that. Uh, so the item we can we can help facilitate the payment process in messenger and social networks. So in these channels, usually uh, even some countries not possible to do payments outside of US. Only in US exist uh, just Stripe and PayPal in Facebook uh, infrastructure uh, uh, payment methods. So, but we, we can enable any payment method for the merchant with much more cost-effective uh, terms and uh, give opportunity to uh, provide additional service to the buyer and the merchant. Awesome. And then just to, you talked about the terms. Um, who pays for this? Is it still per transaction? Is it a percentage? Who's paying? Who's bearing the cost for this? Is it the merchant? Is it the platform? Like, talk yeah. to me a little bit. Yeah. This usual user usual business model when uh, merchant pay for the transaction commission fee uh, nothing new in this uh, but we offer as well as I said um, license for the banks in this uh, um, terms banks cover uh, transaction uh, fee for 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 our service and then they can build terms with their merchants by themselves. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have a couple, I've got one technical question and then um, just uh, on the pitch side, I would say, um, you know, I, I generally, I, I think these technologies are, um, you know, super important and uh, useful. So I think it's a good space. Um, I think when I'm seeing a pitch like this, I'm always wondering to myself about you know, the company's um, both uh, knowledge and, uh, about the competitive landscape and, and, you know, the point of differentiation here is, is pretty obvious, but a lot of these businesses tend to look like features in other people's platforms rather than whole businesses. So I'd like to know a little bit more in a pitch like this, uh, what, how you feel about the competition and, you know, kind of um, how you prevent yourself from becoming, you know, or cannibalized by some of those folks who have, you know, plenty of money to, you know, build onto their existing payment, you know, gateways and portals and, and enable this kind of stuff. And there's a lot of precedent for it, you know, in the rest of the world too, more so than the States. So I'm just, a, I like, I would like to see a little bit more competitive landscape in a pitch like this so that it's clear to me where you guys sit and how you're different and how you might maintain some sort of competitive differentiation over time without getting kind of run over by some of the giant people in the space because obviously payments is a massive space. So that, that for me was the part maybe on the pitch side that was missing a little bit. Um, but otherwise I, I get what's going on. It looks, looks like a good business and a good model. Uh, I have a question about on the implementation side about the, the payments gateway itself. I know you can get down to the messenger level. Those, there's obviously client software there and some things that can happen. So it's a much richer experience, but can this platform also sit on top of like, um, you know, uh, SMS or straight text or does it require some sort of client software? Mm. Uh, please, can you rephrase what kind of additional software you mean? Well, like I, I've been looking for and trying to find ways to enable payments.
payment straight from text without having to have a messenger client. So I was just wondering if that is possible, you know, or if uh, if that's contemplated in an infrastructure like this. Like I'd be able to like text text to pay, if you will, uh, on a platform like this versus uh, having to launch a messenger client. Uh, you. Mm -hmm. So you mean like a payment from the um, like some some invoice? Yeah, that, yeah. That, there, let's there say there obviously have to be uh, a, a communication with the customer, but I'm thinking yeah, like yeah. just go over text message. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We we enable payment even uh, from like piece of uh, paper when uh, uh, print the QR code. So okay, that's kind of where I was going to show that interaction. Once that interaction is established, the payment can be established just through text response then. Absolutely, yeah. We, we can okay. enable it everywhere, like website, landing page, email. Uh, but we see that our like, powerful um, positions that we uh, new modern channels like uh, back in 19s it was uh, email yeah and paypal stick with a paper with the email uh we would like to be like paypal uh for messengers yeah gotcha okay that's cool um and then um uh, you mentioned use of proceeds i think you know this is b2b right you're going to license mostly banks and white label and people are going to embed the tax so so that's you know obvious so i'm a little bit less concerned about customer acquisition in a business like this but i would maybe like to see some sort of slide around the long-term term economics associated with you know here's the revenue that's generated off of you know a, a you know a popular uh, instagram seller you know uh when they license here's the bank revenue that would be generated over a period of time just so we could see stream of revenue against you know kind of the investment thesis of the other than that though i like what you guys are doing mm -hmm. it's all right, that's it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah, it's really great recommendation. Let's go ahead and move on to.